everyone. Welcome to day three of Yoga Sculpt. Today's going to be a little bit slower than yesterday. I know it's a bit strong. So we're just slowing it back down, still keeping it strong in very subtle ways. We're working into release. So wherever the body's holding tightness, we're going to let go of it. So we're working on this little, this idea of building strength and letting go of the tightness. I want you to be strong, but not tight. I want you to be strong and flexible at the same time. So we're going to learn to release that tension that may have built up in your body. And uh, we'll do that by starting in Balasana again. So bringing your knees as wide as the mat. Get your toes to touch. Your hips settle back into your heels. There's a couple of ways to do Balasana, but this is always, I find, the nicest one in the morning. So reach the hands out and get your forehead on the floor again. Just relax the shoulders and take a few seconds to get really comfortable in this pose. Maybe pull the belly in and reach your hands out. Just learning to observe how the body is feeling and using the time to tune back in deeper inside. Reach a little bit more with your fingers. Feeling the stretch from your hip joints all the way. Find the armpit stretch as your hips sink deeper into your heels. Slowly from here, spread the fingers wide. Take a gaze at your fingertips. Squeeze the belly in and start lifting the spine for the count of five. Four, really slowly, okay? Three, push against the upper spine. Two, doming it like a mini parachute. And for one, stop directly over your wrists. Drop the spine down, look up to the ceiling. Think cat and cow. Now sneak the bum back for the count of five. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. Same movement three more times, a little bit faster. Rounding and lifting, belly in, spine up for four. Three, push through the upper spine, two, working into every knot in your back, one. Drop the spine, really look up for four. Sneak the bum back, three. Feeling it in every corner of the back for two. One. Last time here, so get into the back, find the mobility. Inhale, rise for four. Belly squeezing in three. Spine pushing up for two. And one. Exhale, drop your spine, look up for four. Three. Two. And one. Awesome, yogis. Look forward to your fingertips now. Wrist, lift the wrists up and squeeze the tummy in as you drag your hands back. Keep the back rounded. Pretend you're dragging your hands across through cemento. Something really tough. So you'll feel the stretch across every bone in your back. Gently drag your fingertips all the way towards your knees. Cool. Sit really nice and straight. We're going to slide the left hand out and drop the elbows down. Bring the right hand parallel to the ears and reach out. So from the side, all that looks like is like this. From here, you'll semicircle all the way down to the floor and do the same on the opposite side. What we're doing is opening up the sides of the body. So now do this a couple of times, again at your own pace, really working into the shoulders, looking up and gazing at the ceiling. Peeling the body open and letting go of any tension that might be there. We did a lot of side planks. We did a lot of challenging movements yesterday. And I want you to feel comfortable in your body. Okay, take another two more. Going from side to side. Taking your last one. Good. Drop. Beautiful. Come back to the center. We're going to go deeper into the same thing, yeah? We were sitting here. This time, I want you to bring your left hand behind your back, just behind your toes. You will push the hips up and arch and look at your right fingertips. That's it. Again, semicircle like you're sweeping the floor. We're working into the belly as you do this. And do the same on the opposite side. So really push, open, stretch, and release. We're working on finding strength, mobility, flexibility and openness in the body. Just going here for another four. Three. Few 
more seconds, just finding your own pace. For two, staying on sides that need you a little bit longer if you need. Last little breath here, my loves. And for one, slowly come back to the center. Bring your hands down, knees underneath you. We're meeting in all fours of Bharma and Asana as it's called in Sanskrit. We're just going to be doing some simple cats and cows. Spread your fingers wide, that's really important. On the next inhale, drop your spine, look up to the sky. Similar movement to how we just started. And on the exhale, round the shoulders, squeeze and look to the belly button. We try this again. Inhale, drop and really look up to the sky, stretch up. And on the exhale, round the shoulders, squeeze and look to the belly button. Last time, ready? Inhale, dropping and really looking up to the skies. And on the exhale, round the shoulders, squeeze and look straight to the belly button. Neutralize the spine. I'd love for you to lift the right leg up. Now remember, don't lift too high. There's a dip that's caused in the back that's not required. So tuck the core in, just push your heels out. Imagine you're kicking against something. Okay, from here, lift the left hand up. We're holding a spinal balance. Hold it here for three, two, keep it there. Eyes on your fingers, you got this. One, elbows and knees are meeting five times. So ready, yogis, exhale, squeeze, touch your knees. Inhale, stretch it up. You got this, just keep going. For two, squeeze and touch those knees. Slowly stretch it all the way out. That's it, for three, squeeze on the exhale. Inhale, lengthening it up. Two more, for four, squeeze and pull the knees in. Stretch all the way out in one last time, ready? For five, don't stop now. That's it, stretch and pause right there for three, two, one. We're taking the left hand, threading it in and through the right hand, bringing your shoulders and ears to the floor. Lift the right leg up as high as you can, play with some balance. Those of you that are feeling a bit more strong, a bit more flexible, you can even play with lifting the right hand and find your balance. If that's too tricky, keep the right hand down. No issues for two. One. Push the floor, lift yourself back up. That's it. Curl your left toes and pop the left knee off the floor, taking a beautiful three-legged dog. Look underneath your armpit, strength to squat the right toes. Squeeze the belly and look forwards and plant the right leg outside the right hand. Amazing yogis, that's it. Shoulders pull back, stay on your toes, which is leaning to the edge of your left toenail, and then pulling right back. Try it again, edge of your left toenail, and pull it right back. Last time, ready? Edge of the left toenail, and pull it right back, awesome. Keep the right foot where it is, squeeze that tummy in, step the left leg all the way to the front. Big step. Good, bend the knees, take malasana, sitting down, shoulders pulling back, spine is really nice and long. Make sure you're not hunching in, okay? Spine is as long as possible, you're sitting up really nice and straight. Observing how the body is feeling, just here, three. Long breaths, two. Remember these tactic poses are where we catch our breath where we come back to normalcy, where we come back to our innate rhythm of breathing. Bring your hands down, lift the butt up, just about the uh, height of your shoulders, and set the right leg back. And all the way left leg goes back, holding a solid high plank. Shoulders pull back, stay for three, two, one. Let's do a knee, a chest and chin down, bum is up into the air. Squeeze the tummy in, sliding the chest up, Bhujangasana. That's it. Curl the toes, lift the knees, and pedal your legs out. Let's take a downward facing dog. Our Adho Mukha Shonasana. Squeeze the tummy in, stretch the hips up really nice and high. Lengthen the whole body for another two. Last breath here, yogis. And for one. Slowly drop your knees back down. We've got the other side to go, okay? You're doing really well. Cat and cow at first, just to neutralize the spine. So in the inhale, just drop the spine looking up to the sky. And on the exhale, squeeze the tummy in as you look straight to the belly button. Let's do that again. Inhale, drop and really gaze up at the sky. Super. Exhale, round and squeeze and look straight with it. Last time. Inhale, drop looking up to the sky. And on the exhale, round the shoulders, squeeze and look straight within. 
neutralize the spine, okay? Slowly elevate the left leg this time. Remember, don't overarch. Heel to hip, one straight line. You're really tugging in the core, getting it to work so that it's doing the maximum work for us for another two. One, slowly lift the right hand now. Good, good, good. You're always there. Eyes in the fingertips, elbows and knees are meeting five times. You got this. Let's go. Exhale, squeeze in. Inhale, stretch out. For two, squeeze it in. Inhale, stretch all the way out. Almost there. Come on. For three, squeeze it in. And out. Remember, mind over matter. You got this. Four, extension. And one last time, loves. Five. And pause. Hold for a second. You're taking the right hand, threading it in and through the left hand and bringing your ears to the floor. Superb. Lift the left leg as high as you can. Shift the weight into the right shoulder. Engage your left quad. Thighs, that is. Squeeze the tummy in and maybe if you're ready, pop the left hand off to play with balance. That's it. That's the spirit. Hold for a second. You got this. Left hand down. Push yourself back up. Come back into all fours. Amazing work. Ready? Now curl the right toes. Lift the right knee off. Take a three-legged dog. Pop the left leg as high as you can take. Almost there. Squeeze the tummy in. Look forward. Drop the left foot outside the left hand in this big, huge lunge. Amazing, amazing work, yogis. We're doing really well, okay? Stay strong. We're going to come to the tippy edge of our right toenails and slowly pull it back. Try it again. To the edge of your right toenails, like someone's dragging you forward. Feel the stretch on the front of the right thigh and pull it back. Almost done. Last time, last time. I promise. Edge of the right toenail. Stay right there for two. One. Good job. Squeeze the tummy and step the right leg all the way to the front. Bend the knee and take your malasana. Ooh. Body should be feeling warm and steady. Sometimes it's amazing in how much sweat we can build in like 10 or 15 minutes, huh? Keep this side really nice and long. The fans are on right here and I'm still sweating. So I hope you are as well wherever you are. For three. Two, keep the spine really nice and long. And for one. Ready? Palms come down, lift the bum up, almost in line with your shoulders. You got this. Step the right leg back, left leg back. I meet you in our favorite pose of the world, high plank. Now shoulders back, look forwards. Come to the edge of your toenails, scoop in that belly, push through the upper shoulders. We're here for 10. Nine, you got this. Eight, keep the quads working. Seven, six, breathe. Five, almost there. Four, stay strong, yogis. Three, don't stop at the end. Let's finish strong for two. One knees down, balasana, melt and let go. Good job, good job, good job. Just melt, quieten down. Observe how the body is feeling. More importantly, observe the dimensions the mind takes. Is your mind telling you, oh my God, this is so challenging. You see, in the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna tells Arjuna one very important thing. Let your mind be your best friend or your worst enemy. And most of the times, our own minds become our own worst enemies. They're always giving us excuses as to why not to do something, or why something's really hard, or why we can't do something, right? And today, let's change that. Let's invest in becoming our own best friends. And in that note, or on that note, let's do this one more round. Ready, yogis? Come to your palms. Get your knees underneath your hips. Let's just do some simple cat and cow again, okay? Inhale, drop your spine, looking up to the sky. That's it. Exhale, pull the belly in and look straight to the belly button. Scoop it up to the sky. Once more. Inhale, dropping the sp spine, looking up to the sky. And on the exhale, rounding the shoulders and looking straight to the belly button. That's it. Come into a neutral spine. Right leg, ready? Right leg lifts up, heel in line with the hips, hands in line with the hips as well. Like you're high-fiving somebody in front of you. Elbows and knees are meeting four times alone. Ready? Exhale, squeeze. Inhale, stretch it all the way out. Let's try that again. So squeeze into a tight little bump. Extend it all the way out. Last time, ready? No, once more after that, squeeze it in. Stretch it all the way out. And one last time now. So squeeze it in. Stretch out and pause for three, two, 
One, good. Take the left hand, thread it in and through to your shoulders and your ears. Right leg pops up as high as you can take it. Elevate it a little bit more. See if you can shift the weight into the left shoulders. Just play. Pop the right hand up. See if you can play with balance. Just try, just try. You got this. That's it. Good. Right hand comes down. Push and lift yourself up. Amazing work. Ready? Curl the left toes. Pop the left knee off. Take your beautiful three-legged dog. Squeezing the tummy and look forwards. Step the right leg outside the right hand in a big step. Just three rock and rolls. So let's shift the weight all the way to the edge of your toes. And slowly pull it back. Try again to the edge of those toenails. And slowly pull it back. Last time, you got this. To the edge of those toes, stretching the thighs. Scoop the belly and lift the butt up. Step the left leg all the way in front. Sit the bun down. Taking balasana, or malasana, sorry. Pushing the elbows out, spine is really nice and straight. Lengthen and look forwards, holding it here for three. Take a few breaths for two. We're gonna do this one last time. You got this. One. Ready? Palms down, lift the bum up in line with your shoulders. Scoop in that belly. Don't think twice. Today I'd love for you to just jump back if possible. Try it. Surprise yourself. That's it. Coming into a solid high plank. Hold it here for five. Four. Three. Don't give up yet. Almost done. Two. That's it. One. Drop your knees down. Last time, last side. Okay, you got this. Remember, let your mind be your best friend. Ready, yogis? This time the left leg is up. Heel to hip, one straight line. And then when you're ready, right hand is up in front of you. Elbows and knees are meeting four times alone. Exhale, squeeze into a tiny ball. Inhale, extend it out. That's it. For two, squeeze it and you're pulling every energy in. And extending out like a superstar. That's it. For three, squeeze it in. Extend it all the way out. And one last time, okay? Pull it in together. Expand and stop for a second. Awesome. Take the right hand, thread it through shoulders and ears. Pop the left leg as high as you can take it. Elevate, elevate, elevate. That's the spirit. Lift the left hand up to the sky. Eyes on your fingertips. Stay right there. You're doing really well for two. One. Left hand comes down. Push and lift up. Amazing work, loves. Curl the right toes. Pop the right knee off. Taking your three-legged dog up to the sky. Scoop in that tummy. Set the left leg all the way to the front of the mat. Outside the left hand. Awesome, just three rocks, okay? To the edge of your right toes. Slowly pull it back. Once more, once more, once more. Edge of those right toes. Pull it back. Last time alone, you got this. Edge of your right toes. Scoop that tummy in, set the right leg all the way in front. Bend those knees and take your malasana. Well done, loves. I'm so proud of you. Use your elbows, push the knees wide. Sit the spine as straight as you can. Hold, catch your breath. You should be feeling really proud of what you just achieved. Hold here for three, two, well done. This is how it all begins, okay? Don't let your mind wander down any other roads. For one, hands go down, push the bum up almost in line with your shoulders. Don't think twice, surprise yourself and see if you can jump back into our last high plank of the day. Hold it here for four, three, push to the uh, spine, pull that core in for two, one knees down, balasana melts. Just rest, giving the body the quiet it really needs. Letting yourself find stillness. Good job, yogis. Slowly when you're ready, start breathing those long, deep breaths. Trying to ensure you're breathing through your nose versus your mouth. Stay for a few more seconds. For one, look forwards, lift the chest up. Let's swing our legs around. 
We take a quick Shavasana to let all of this just melt into muscle memory. So just rest your head to the floor, palms face the sky, your shoulders peel back and your eyes just close. Take a few quiet seconds to let this all seep into every cell, every muscle. Learning to be proud of the many steps we are taking in life. And learning to make these many steps 